Hey everyone, welcome back for another Proto Tech Tip. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why we use cold metal transfer welding. So as mentioned in our previous welding tech tip, we offer various welding processes including spot welding, seam welding, fillet welding, plug welding, and tack welding. If you want to know a little bit more about these processes, I'll link that video in the description below. But let's dive right into it. So here at Protocase, we use coal metal transfer, CMT, as opposed to conventional MIG welding, metal inert gas, or MAG welding, metal active gas. CMT offers an extremely low heat input, unlike its counterparts MIG and TIG, which create an excessive amount of heat. Cold metal transfer technology outperforms conventional TIG and MIG welding for joining light gauge sheet metal. Before CMT, welding light gauge sheet metal was always more of an art form than an engineered production process. So put it this way, in comparison to MIG welding, CMT only generates one tenth of the heat, so warping and meltback are all but eliminated. So this sets new standards in welding light gauge sheets of metal, especially where stringent requirements exist in terms of weld seam appearance. So let's talk a little bit about how this process works. CMT has an exceptionally stable arc. The pulsed arc is made up of a base current phase with a low power and a pulsing current phase with high power without short circuits. This means that almost no splatter is produced. In the pulsing current phase, the welding droplets are detached in a targeted manner via a precisely dosed current pulse. Because of this process, the arc only introduces heat for a very brief period during the arc burning phase. The arc length is detected and adjusted mechanically. The arc remains stable no matter what the surface of the workpiece is like or how fast the user welds. This means CMT can be used everywhere and in every position. So the CMT process physically resembles MIG welding, however the main difference is the wire feed. Rather than continuously moving forward in the weld pool, with CMT the wire is retracted and the instant current flows. The weld wire and shielding gas are fed through a welding torch. The electricity arcs between the weld wire and the welding surface. This causes the tip of the weld wire to liquefy to be applied to the welding surface. CMT uses automatic activation and deactivation of the heating arc to systematically heat and cool the weld wire while bringing the wire into and out of contact with the weld pool many times per second. Because it uses a pulsing action instead of a continuous stream of power, CMT welding generates only one tenth of the heat that MIG welding does. This reduction in heat is CMT's greatest benefit and why it's called cold metal transfer. So here's a quick little fun fact. The developer of the CMT process actually describes this as hot cold, hot cold, hot cold. With that being said, that's a rundown of our cold metal transfer welding process here at Protocase. If you would like more information on CMT welding or our welding options, be sure to check out our website. We put some direct links in the description below or you can talk to your account manager as well. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. I hope you found it useful. Make sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos in our welding series. And stay tuned for another Proto Tech Tip next week.